There he is. Talk to Ayatu. Ayatu. Where's Toma? <laughs> Long time no see. Ah, it's you two. Yes, it has been a while. Yeah, it's been what? Yeah, Iridori Festival. <laughs> we heard the Yashiro Commission is holding a test of courage, so we came right over to sign ourselves up. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. Test of courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. So please, be sure to exercise caution. Trailer. Whoa. What do you mean by that? Oh, will there be spooky things in Chinju Forest? No. Totally a possibility. He's just pulling your leg. <laughs> I'm a thought so too. Well, in that case, there's nothing to be scared of. Surely. Anyway, we got an event to win. Grand prize, here we come. Surely. Oh, hello. Number. Hold it right there. Oh, well, if it isn't my compadres, didn't <laughs> expect to see you here. When's the last time I saw Ido? I think it was also. No, no, no. We saw him in his jumping event. Also, Archon Quest. I would know that voice. <gasps> it's Ito. What are you doing here? Oh wait, don't tell Paimon you're here for the test of courage. Yep. <laughs> what else? I'm sorry, but uh, those prizes already belong to yours truly. Arataki ain't scared of nothing, Ito. Oh boy, I have another nickname. <laughs> that means smiling and Paimon's face is distraught. I mean, well, uh, that's what I really want to say. <laughs> but uh, I have actually got something else going on. Chinju Forest? We've already been there a million times. There's nothing scary about that place. That event's just a game for kids. What a waste of time. <laughs> Let's play some genius invocation TCG. He's right. Seriously, test of courage? Ugh, whatever. I guess if that's what the boss wants. How's he even doing this? Can you believe that? What a group of deadbeats. I'm not gonna put up with that. Nah, -uh, not in my gang. I just, I can't with you know. I, I honestly, I, I cannot. In the best way possible. Since there's no way I can trust the Yashiro Commission to make a fun event, I've decided <laughs> to step in and spice things up a little. Dang. Wait, you don't seriously mean that? Oh, you bet I do. Yours truly is going to be out scaring people. <laughs> oh. I'm taking this event to a whole nother level. But it's going to take more than an Oni to make it happen. So I came here to recruit some help. And then I saw you come walking along. Come on, come scare people with come me, on. please. Nope. You know what's funny? I was just watching, um, I just watched an anime where they did this. I was watching Quintuplets. They literally just did this. Like, uh, Kimo Dimeshi, they literally, literally just said him. No way! Pretty please? Forget it! Screw you. Pretty, pretty please? Ah, oh, fine. Forget no! It. We can't do that if we're scaring people. We'll help you out. Just don't get in the way of our prize. <laughs> yes, you're a real Oni saver. Hey, don't worry. With me around, winning the test of courage will be a piece of cake. Look how Lamine has no say in this. All right. Those participants won't scare themselves. Let's get out there. <laughs> Paimon, the real main character. What a noisy guy. Hmm. But after hearing him laugh and talk... Paimon doesn't feel scared anymore. Huh. Maybe laughter is the key to making fear go away. If things get scary <laughs> later, we can all start laughing at the top of our lungs. Surely. Do you say that would make that would just make things even scarier? Hey, traveler, Paimon, enough chit chat. We're gonna miss the event. Ah, uh, coming! Max Middleman. Oh. Well spy action going, what the heck? Is behind a tree. No, that would have been really cool if he was actually here. All right, this looks like the place. Uh, is it just Paimon, or does it look a lot scarier than usual here? Everybody's like glowing. 
What do you mean it's scary? This is where Ayaka did her. Oh God, dang! All right, hold on. Maybe I. Oh, maybe I'm gonna fail. Nothing. I just had a thought occur to me. Wow. I want to scare the gang members real good, but now that I think about it, I've never actually scared anyone before. <sighs> You're only now realizing this. Got a blue hat video. You can find Azul on top of Orobashi. <laughs> yeah, I would not be surprised. So you mean you want to practice first? Practice? Oh, now there's an idea. Hey, I I've got it. Why don't you join the test of courage like everyone else, and I'll go hide and try to scare you from time to time. Cheating. Then you two can judge my scaring skills. <laughs> All right, that's the plan. Let me go get ready. That's the plan. Okay. Just wait. You'll see how scary this Oni can be. <laughs> and there he goes, running off and still talking to himself. <laughs> We were here to join the event anyway. Guess we'll just have to pass Ito's little test along with whatever else the event throws at us. Like Ushi. Oh, seems one of the event staff is over there. Let's go talk to her. Oh, she's one from the trailer, isn't she? Aha! Uh -huh. You must be here to participate in the test of courage. Yep, that's right. Uh, judging from your outfit, you must be one of the shrine maidens from the Grand Narukami Shrine. That's right. Huh. Oh, I can God. Really see a dark aura surrounding the two of you. Yes, truly ominous. If you carelessly go running into the event, all it'll take is one little misstep, and the darkness will swallow you up. <laughs> Jesus. What's with that sinister <laughs> laugh? Is she really a shrine maiden? It's a fake. Sure you don't want to back out? This is your last chance. I'll count it down. Three, two, one. Welcome to the test of courage. Enter at your own risk. Uh, was that the first test? Sure, you could say that. You know, the most unfortunate tales always happen unexpectedly on just a normal, average day. Just like today. <laughs> but no need to worry. Allay your qualms and suspicions. Everything qualms. was set into motion the moment you two stepped into this place. Just enjoy the calm before the storm. The first round is about to begin. Have you already decided on your partner? He's doing a good job at like selling this event. Like within the actual like world of Inazuma. <laughs> Well, hmm. but it appears your names were written together as a single participant, the Traveler and Paimon. Uh oh, so now we need somebody else? Which means you'll have to find yourselves another partner in order to join the event. Wait, are you serious? Ugh, if only Ito hadn't gone running off on his own, we could have had a partner. Now what should we do? We find Haizu. As far as I know, there have been other participants who've yet to Oh, partner. hello. You could go ask around. What? Oh, huh. Just be sure to make it quick. If you don't have a partner, I don't expect the event starts, then you'll be immediately disqualified. Uh -oh. Immediately. We can't let that happen. Let's go see if we can find anyone to partner up with nearby. The K word. <laughs> I can't read the poster. Nope. Looks like a. It's like Dongo milk and question marks. All right, now where were those individuals? There's Goro. He came all the way from Watasumi Island just to. Huh. Kangaroo. <laughs> That's the keyword. Oh, traveler, Paimon. I didn't expect to run into you here. How did Goro of all people come to this event? He's scared of Yaimiko. You think he'd be scared of everything? We're here for the test of courage. How about you? Oh, there's Kazuma. Well, I 
was originally headed to Yai Publishing House to hand in the responses for this month's issue of That's Life. Oh, I see. But I had no idea that that crafty fox would be there. She brought up the Test of Courage event and suggested I give it a try. I wasn't interested, but she said, The mighty general of Watatsumi Island isn't afraid of anything, <laughs> is he? Dudge. And before I knew it, I found myself caught in her persuasive mind games. I immediately regretted it the moment I arrived here. There could be traps everywhere. That's like like real people, like Yamiko. Like like just nice people who are just nice to everybody. There's always that one person who likes to like mess with their head. Oh, this event sounding more and more dangerous. Uh, my instinct tells me that the forest is chock full of ambushes. One misstep, and it'll be over. Perhaps that uh, crafty fox is hiding somewhere in the crafty dark, fox. waiting for another opportunity to tease me. Who knows? She might even use a camera and send embarrassing photos back to Watatsumi <laughs> Island. Her Excellency once said, when you march into an ambush, escape the enemy vanguard. When escape is impossible... And seek ample reinforcements. Wise words. Hmm. Now Good to know. Here, maybe we can turn the tables. Could I ask you two to partner up with me? No. Oh, sure. I completely understand. Perhaps you have a friend you'd like to enter the test of courage with? Anyway, whoever you decide to partner up with, the most important thing is to enjoy the event. Good luck. Couldn't have said it better myself. It's also what the shrine man said. Said one messed up and you're screwed. Do, do, do. Hey, look, it's wet socks. Oh, traveler and Paimon. In the wet Greetings. socks area. Huh? It's Ayaka. Are you here for the test of courage too? <laughs> Her face. Yes, my brother told me that the event would be most interesting. And suggested that I personally participate. I have never experienced a test of courage event, so I don't really know what to expect. Oh no! Dang, so we gotta pick one person? Oh, so this is your first time? To be frank, I'm no expert when it comes to the supernatural. I often worry that I haven't shown spirits proper respect and have brought shame upon my clan. You know who who is an expert when it comes to supernatural? Oh, speaking of which, may I ask if the two of you are partners for the event? Actually, the shrine maiden just told us that we only count as a single participant. However, that works. So we're looking for a partner now. Splendid. In that case, how would you like to be my partner? <laughs> I always feel at ease when you're by my side. Uh, but of oh course, no, Ayaka! Don't let me get in the way if you wish to participate with someone else. I don't even want to say no. Let me think about it. Sure, I understand. I'll be waiting for you here. You may let me know if you need anything. Well, I think I know who I'm picking. Goro. Um. Oh, there it is. Do, do, do. Oh, hold on. We got a picture to take. Well, this is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> this is awkward. There was a familiar scent upon the wind. I knew that I'd see you around here. I can't believe he came for this. Well, I guess he has the time. Girl, hi, I'm the guy who got betrayed by your ancestor. <laughs> Dang. Honestly, it's very just awkward for Kazuha in general to be in Inazuma, because he's seen as, like, the savior who stopped the Raiden. Well, not the savior, but the guy who stopped the Raiden. But also, like, the Raiden killed his son, or his son, his friend. I guess Nassara kind of did. So it's just, it's a whole awkward scenario with him in general. We meet again. We meet again. Paimon didn't expect to see you at the Test of Courage. And why is that? Do I seem unsuited for this sort of event? Oh, no, not at all. It's just I that guess not. Paimon's never seen you get scared, Kazuha. You're always so calm and collected. 
looks like you've never been scared by anything. <laughs> you flatter me. I suppose that's only a reflection of my time wandering in the wilderness. Wandering. I've strange stories in my travels. <gasps> I can say I've even experienced a few myself. Over time, I must have gotten used to it. Ah, what? that makes sense. But, uh, why do you want to join the Test of Courage? After hearing the Yashiro Commission promote the rewards for this event, I was guessing that you two would show up. Since we hadn't seen each other for some time, I figured I might as well come and see you. After all, meeting someone after mm. being apart for so long always lifts the spirits. This is true. I always think he, he's like injured when he sees his arm all wrapped up in his hand. Oh, so you were waiting for us? No, not yet. Do you need me to be your partner? Oh, this is kind of a hard choice, man. Dang. Take your time. We'll have plenty of chances to talk later, so there's no need to make a choice this very instant. We could even go together for a late night snack once the event is over. You know what? Now you say that, now I don't feel bad. You put it like that, you know. I don't feel too bad about that one. I don't feel too bad. Let's just see how this looks from here. Holy moly. But girl would be very comedic. While Ayaka would be really sweet. Hmm. This is the question. Surely you can, you know, go back and do it again. <laughs> I'll be out. That'd be good. wonder how much it, like, matters. Oh, you'd really like to? Then it's my honor. Or I suppose I should say, please pardon my inexperience. Oh, yeah, I'll take out. Uh. And if I appear to be frightened, please promise not to laugh at me. Oh, I can't promise that, but... It's called... Oh. Dongo milk. <laughs> Dongo milk? Hey, they brought it back. They brought it back. This is like really, really rare. This is the second time now. I, I've, I think the first time was with Yenfei in the Pearliest Trail. I don't think that ever happened before. But yeah, I love this though. This is so cool. They do this more often. That was... Yeah, oh yeah, that was Venti's fault. It's true. God, why am I climbing this? Also... Would I... Would like to stop for a rest? I can't get off. Would okay. Like to stop for a rest? God, what the heck? I, I couldn't get off. I could like usually you can hit a button to like detach. I couldn't detach. Bring it to the pond. Oh shoot, this you're right. Reminds me of a story that a retainer once told me several years ago. This reminds me of your dance. There was a wandering samurai who, while crossing the forest at night, noticed that the familiar scenery was beginning to change right in front of him. The man stopped and realized that it was as if he was in another world. Strange creatures that didn't appear to be human were all staring at him. What? Oh, that's super scary. Paimon doesn't even dare look at these trees after hearing that story. Oh, I'll finish the dialogue okay. first. If anything weird jumps out at us, teach it a lesson, traveler. Let's get over to the pond. No! 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 They knew! They knew. Oh shoot. Oh, Wait, dang. Are these fireworks? Oh, they said it's Mia? We better keep our distance. See Amia in the trees? Hmm. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. A debate chest. Would you like to stop for a rest? Yes. Aww, yep. It. But it seem to be here. I was gonna have like a scary thing pop out of it. Let's keep searching somewhere else. This is funny so far. <laughs> um. Oh wait. Please. 
No! She will just... She will not get in the water. Please. I guess the one time was enough. Please. Hey! <laughs> May not be the exact spot, but it's good enough. We're back. This is where my, my internet goes out again. Double wet socks. We're back. Let's go. Would you like to stop for a rest? This is like the stupidest thing to be excited about. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, we did it. They got her socks wet. Nope, it is absolutely doable. They they knew they wanted to stop it, but you know, they there was one instance where you know, there's some water here. This this is where my internet goes out again. Who is that? You will suffer with me. Could it be a spirit that's haunting this place? Oh, uh, we're not here to bother you. <laughs> Fierro. Uh, no need to torment us. Oh, no. I even asked someone at the Grand Narakami Shrine to come and see you. <laughs> oh, it's like the. Oh, wait, whoa, hey, hold on. What's Please. going on, bro? No, you spotted me. Shh, please, not a word of this to anyone. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll dock my pay. Dock my pay. Well, you did a bad job on that one, buddy. Spotted you. So there's, surely there's gonna be people. Like, up high. Oh, I can't jump. Oh. This is a direct route. It's up. I'll show you how scary this Oni can be. <laughs> how was that? Were you scared? I can't oh, he actually did though, Ushi at me. But there seems to be something moving there. Yep, yeah, it was Ushi. And we're going to a fox. Do I need the Please stay a little closer? Wait, do I do I actually need the thing? Damage. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Oh, I probably had to let like, go through all three. Okay. Stay a little closer. Well, no, there should be a chest. Yeah. Oh, we found the dongo. Look, everyone. Isn't this the dongo milk we're searching for? And there's a scarecrow beside it. Strange. What is that doing here? The scarecrow got wrecked. Well, it doesn't matter now since we found the dongo milk. Then we must be the first ones here, right? But there's no way we can carry back so much dongo milk. Why don't we drink some to lighten the load a little? We can't carry that little box? Paimon could use a sip. Ah! The scarecrow stood up! It appears to be guarding the dongo milk here. You mean it's watching if we touch the dongo milk? <laughs> uh, Oh, it's not scary ourselves. You're getting scared over nothing. Oh, maybe you're right. The Paimon will try to come down. I uh, let's try some together. No, just pick it up. Can't carry that. The Almighty Traveler can't carry it. Mmm, tastes great. <laughs> Indeed. Any fears I had a moment ago seem to have been dissipated by the dongo milk. But fear is not entirely bad. What? Although I've been scared a few times, I still feel happy now. I would like to continue walking through the forest for a while. Will you accompany me? Hello? I think I saw someone I know. I, I know just now. There is no why. Ah, I see. Well, I shall continue walking while you go greet your friend. No, talk to her. Don't worry. Now that I've experienced the event once already, I won't be easily frightened. I'll see you later. Have a lovely chat with your friend. No, Ayaka! Oh, I want to see some Ayaka talking to Raiden. I guess it doesn't matter who you pick because they'll just leave. 
Hey. Oh, it's really you. What are you doing here? Man, why can't she been there to see Skarmish? Oh, hello. Nico <laughs> told me about the test of courage event taking place here. I thought I would come and have a look. It's so nice now. Ah, so that's why you're here. So what do you think of the test of courage? Are you having fun? Oh, look, it's the God of Thunder. <laughs> More or less the same as I remember before. I wasn't scared by anything, but on the contrary, some of the event participants were horrified the moment they saw me. Oh God, yeah. They should be. Oh, that Nico! Did she send A here to scare people on purpose? Certainly seems that way. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's just Makoto, don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, A will freaking slash them on the death if they pop out. Oh, Paimon has an idea. We'll give you a bottle of the Dongo milk we just found. That would make you a winner in this round, too. Are we supposed to bring the Dongo milk back? If we drink it all, we just get disqualified. Ah, yes. Isn't that the dessert drink we had the last time we met? Sure, I'll take one. Actually, I've sensed a familiar feeling ever since I arrived here. It's brought some old memories to mind. Man, I really did not see this coming. Huh? A familiar feeling? I'm glad they didn't show this in the trailer. Have you been down to the beach by any chance? Uh, Nizuchi Beach? Yes. I was just strolling nearby when I noticed a space at the beach with a familiar game set up. Oh, there. shoot. Dang, that's like a whole new little spot. I took a brief look and it appeared to be a game where you control flippers hovering in the air to strike a ball and hit some positioned elemental cubes. Ball. I saw the game was called Akitsu Yugen. I'm guessing it originated from Akitsu Hazura. The thought of that game caused me to recall some things from the past. Hania Sobi? Akitsu. Oh, that's the first name of the, yeah, of the event. Akatsu. Akitsu. <laughs> What's that? It's a game where you use Hagoita to hit a ball towards a set target. It was once quite popular during festivals. Oh, that's what she knows. Oh, you know what? I have to add those emotes. I, there's like just a bunch of Genshin characters with just names like that. I see it, but I never got a chance to add it. It's so silly. Makoto also enjoyed playing Akitsu Hazuro when she was alive. Yaki oh. was still around at that time, and nights in Inazuma were much more lively than they are now. Dang. Oh, that sucks. And she was alive. The yokai would hold festivals from time to time, gathering to drink, laugh, and play music. Oh, does that mean you could eat the delicious festival food whenever you liked? That's what sucks about, like, living for eternity, is you'll just see everybody you know pass away. Yes. The yokai called their celebration the Mikawa Flower Festival. Makoto and I attended it once. She found it particularly fascinating. Well, sadly, the past has all but vanished. But seeing a game like that again does make me feel happy. That's good. At least there's some gratification for it. Have you seen some of the new ones from TCG? Uh, no, I, I've seen Dice of Cringe. I did see that one, but that was about it for the new ones. Sounds like it could be fun. Paimon would like to play. If you're interested, you can go to the beach and give it a try. It was still being set up when I was there earlier, but I assume it should be ready soon. Hmm. I shall return to Tenshukaku. Nico told me that the test of courage consists of three rounds. So please, keep up the effort and give it your best until the end. No, why does everybody just hang around for like two minutes? Stay. Okay, you two. I think you should have no problem making it to the end. Oh, of course. <laughs> I know you can do it. Good luck. Good luck to you two, even though you... 
probably don't need it. Carmen doesn't remember hearing anything about a game on the beach from Ayato. Do you think that activity is also planned by the Ashiro Commission? So I'm in our, our Dango milk, man. Gotta get our get our prize. Boom, boom, boom. Oh God. So, what'd you think? Do I know how to scare people or what? Hey. Oh, uh, last time I think. Yeah, if you have, if you have to do that, then no. I kind of didn't either because I, I looked behind me because the game made me look and when I turned around then I saw Uchi and so it didn't even get me. Uh, I never leave this one to the traveler. So, was Ito scary or not? He was very subtle. He's the scariest Oni ever. Wait, uh, what? No way. Listen, every time I made my move, I scared the living daylights out of everyone. Out of who? Who else was here besides us? I didn't. I don't think anybody else found a partner. Even I had no idea I possessed such talent, but this is just what I needed to hear. Now I'll show them. The gang will know just how terrifying their leader can be. Anyway, I've already figured out which path they'll be taking, so let's wait nearby and scare the pants off them. <laughs> now things are getting interesting. You ready? We've got people to scare. Help Ito scare people. What an objective. Help Ito scare people. I am on it. We're gonna go... Yeah, okay. Shh, I think we're getting close. Come on, come on, come on. We can't let them see us. Oh, here they come. So, how are you going to scare them, Ito? Two... Puga Puga Puga. And then the travel doesn't say anything. Oh. Uh -huh. Wait, you're not. Oh. Are these the three kids with uh you and Mia? Oh god. Oh. Oh. I have this one, I, I don't know. Ghost. Oh shoot, what the heck? Wait, hold on a second. That was cool. That was actually something different. Like usually the animations are like, you know, you can usually tell what's typically happens. But that was that was different. That was actually like looked like a cartoon. Yeah, that's some Looney Tunes, yeah. So all the strange rumors about the test of courage are true. Oh, like, actually. Do? do you think the ghosts are coming after us? There's no ghost. Oh, Paimon. I didn't expect you to be such a baby. Hey, you're one to talk. You were the first <laughs> to <start> running. <laughs> Don't make fun of Paimon. I was running, too. Well, you, sh you shouted ghosts, so... My instinct to escort you two to safety kicked in. Making fun of him, man. He ran first. After all, real ghosts are terrifying. My skills are completely useless against him. He actually just ran. So why do we start running? Oh, because I just realized that they were also running from us. Oh, you meant the kids. Which means they were afraid of us too. And if that's the case, then there shouldn't be anything to worry about. <sighs> now that I've calmed down... I'm starting to wonder if they were actually ghosts. They might have been people dressed up as ghosts to scare us. Honestly, Paimon does look very abnormal compared to everybody else, so she kind of does look like she could be a ghost. Does anybody ask for a commission, though? Oh, definitely not. No, during the event, I took a little walk around the Chinju Forest and saw all the gimmicks that the Yashiro Commission had set up. Those three weren't from the Yashiro Commission, but they did seem a little familiar. Come on, let's go back there and take a look. Huh? Now you want to go I want to go back. But there's still a chance that they were real spirits, right? If we go back now, they might try to eat us. 
the ghost can eat? Oh, it's all right, Paimon. If you're scared, you can stay here. Traveler and I will go investigate. Really? Oh, that'd be oh great. dang. I thought she was going to say no. But wouldn't it be more dangerous to stay here alone? Oh, right. The last mystery novel Paimon bought from Yai Publishing House had a plot just like that. During the investigation, whoever said I'm not going would always be the next victim. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, uh, I second that. Paimon's going with you. Don't you ever leave Paimon behind. Paimon really is like an abyss. Oh, I also realized that uh, the Omni dice is actually what's on Paimon's, like, on her, uh, like, on her clothing. Why don't you put a bed sheet over Paimon? It's like, oh my gosh, that would be perfect. That would be absolutely perfect. Just fly around and literally be a ghost. Hmm. It looked like they were running that way, but it's hard to say exactly where they went, so let's split up. Oh, and then they say, let's split up. That's the worst. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Once my rear's in gear, I'm not afraid of nothing. And then it's how cute. <laughs> uh, Let's throw her. Has a bad feeling about this. They scared you that bad, huh? Huh. Looks like they really do have a knack for spooking people. This time, I'll capture mm. him and learn their art for scaring people. Anyway, I'll catch you around. And there he goes, running off and talking to himself. Again. Again. Oh, do we really have to go? We better go take a look. Just sitting here won't accomplish anything. Oh, fine. Let's go take a look then. But the second we see anything. Yeah, whenever we split up, it's always bad. Got it? Nope. I'm fighting it head on. <laughs> or I guess there's just kids. Never mind. Do, do, do. Well, so it's a bird. He walked all the way here. Hmm. Wonder where those three went. Paimon didn't see them anywhere. Oh, maybe Ito was right. Maybe they've been hiding. Huh. Seems like they're not scary after all. Uh oh. This is where it happens. Feels like you got to your senses. You finally came back to your normal self. Oh you god. Paimon can already see you guys, so just come out and show yourself. Oh god. Just going by yourself. There's someone actually here. I'm not scared again. God, the music. Chizuru. You can't give in to your desires. Others will suffer for it. You mustn't make the same mistake. Just hold on a little longer. You've already come all this way, right? It's gonna be a big movie star. Uh, excuse us. Did you happen to see three rascals pass by here? Uh, let Paimon tell you what they look like. Is it just me, or does it look like she's bearing something? Are you talking to me? To someone like me? Oh, shoot. What the heck? <laughs> I did not see that one coming. Oh, I like, like, the slow pain. I'm like... <laughs> you have no business coming here. You shouldn't be anywhere near me. Come on, covering her eyes. Yeah, it is. It does look nice. If you value your lives, you must leave immediately. Otherwise, your souls will be trapped here forever. Oh yeah, her eyes. It's like you can see under. It's kind of like patched off. I won't warn you again. Now, away with you. Be gone. Dude, she looks sick. Like that looked cool. I like, like, it's like, like Naruto, like charging up her chakra or something. Wake up. Hey, traveler. Oh, Wake hey, up. here he is. What happened? Thank goodness you're okay. 
Kaizo? Huh? Before we get to that, I think someone needs your attention first. Oh hell. <laughs> Where? Oh. It's like, where is she? Come on, wake up. Are you here to rescue Paimon? Oh, and Hazel's here too. Uh, what Jesus. happened to that scary person just now? Did you manage to defeat her? Scary person? Uh, oh, he wouldn't understand. There's a person wearing a weird outfit. And they spoke strangely. Okay, I see. I only found the two of you passed out here when I arrived. There was no one else around. Uh oh. What happened? Tell me all the details. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what a great start. Oh, oh yeah. okay. So now we do. Oh, God, I'm terrible. So is this, is there like a danger reaction? No. Nope. Uh, yeah, I mentioned in the beginning, I said no, no danger. This is actually really cool. No, oh, I missed it. I have a terrible combo going. Is that the shield behind us? Overloaded makes two. Oh, we get guns. I could have used it to finish it off. Oh no. Oh, get it, get it, go. Oh shoot. No! Huh. I'm sorry, Animo yet? Oh yeah. I wonder what. Yeah, because I think that was on the list, right? Oh shoot. Oh. Should I cryo? Oh, that's that uh, kind of don't like that. Just freezes it. There we go. That was a good combo right there. The things haven't came back to me yet. It's very satisfying when it's uh, pyro. That's pretty cool. New modifiers. Cries better against Electro and Hydro. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you could sprint. I'm an idiot. I didn't know you could sprint. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think it just probably is like universal. Oh, wow. Oh. I didn't put movement speed on, by the way. We were just normal, normal speed. More speed. I know there's somebody out there with like 15,000 points. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh, I lost track of who I was for a second there. Oh, no. No, I missed them all. Uh, there's a barrier. Holy crap. I missed so many. Okay, thank God for that barrier. That barrier is nice. Bro, is it a 500 combo? Jeez. Okay, so what's in here? Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay. The handles. I got you. Oh boy. Yeah, it's way, <laughs> way too dang. Oh wait, ah oh, shoot, I messed up, like I just shot it. No! 
I missed it. We still have our combo, which is interesting. I'm gonna switch. I'll be front and center. Oh god. No! Okay, we had the barrier. Oh. So hard to actually, like, not miss. One more. There we go. Free shot. Four seconds. Oh, we could definitely break a thousand. Holy crap. Oh, I, I said 15,000. I actually got 15K. Nice. 15K. I was exaggerating when I said 15K. That is actually pretty fun indeed. Oh, interesting. That's pretty fun, huh? What's that? Oh, gosh, the blue door. It's a blue door. <laughs> Spado hanging out. <laughs> Please turn to the Kasu Yugi 2 so you gotta take a closer look. Wait, how many events are in this? Got something for you. How many? <laughs> you can't yes. How many events are in this thing? We got balls and then we got. The blue door. Um, see how it looks. Oh, uh, oh, it moves too. Looks like an umbrella. Takaboku Shigua. Oh, and you get the uh, the bonus XP. Character wielding the weapon will deal 16% more damage to the... Oh, so it's like a... It's kind of like a mark, kind of. I thought it was like some kind of other item when I first saw it in the trailer. Oh my god, bro, what? That is so funny, though. No way. That is ridiculous. That's actually really funny. Wow, man. Talk about Hu Tao, man. So you do more damage to the person who got attacked with it. Oh, God. Oh, I bet you it looks good on him. Yep. Sure does. That's just so creepy. And it has like three teeth. Ugh. Got a blue door and an event. Oh, it's like a this mage face. Okay, so it's the same thing. Interesting. Weird. The domain that is the uh, sovereignty of the boss brick, gibbering glum grumbler. The opponent looks awfully anxious, they're hidden behind layers of electro brick infused defenses. Too bad you trapped himself in the middle. As long as you can wreck your angles and get get your skill balls through his defense, we'll break him sooner or later. This is this is not fair. Oh oh god! I take back what I said. Thank God the block is behind me. That's interesting. Definitely, uh, yeah, hide your cry out there. Just did it without sprinting because I didn't know. I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't know either. I had no idea. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the first round of the test of courage. Oh, yeah, wait. Oh, I just, I didn't see Sayo on the, the far left. I barely noticed that. What the heck? Now you're one step closer to the dark, messy truth. But is that really a good thing? Ooh. Hey, cut the nonsense! Oh, what oops. we just saw was super terrifying! Oh, really? Good to hear. 
Hearing the word super terrifying is exactly what all us event organizers would like to hear. But what a character. Uh, no, that's not what Prima means. Something mysterious is also happening here, not just the event. So what? You've heard the stories about the test of courage, haven't you? Doesn't even care. Everyone who participates in the event faces a variety of emotions. Even that bird. People are afraid of seeing their innermost fears appear before them. And yet they still seek the thrill of experiencing those fears. What was that? So, isn't it natural for us to have things in the dark and deathly silent forest to help fulfill that experience? Just like the grinning monster standing behind you right now, waiting for you to turn around. Ah, really? Nope, not really. She's messing with you. <laughs> I knew a little trick oh, like Toma. Be enough to scare you off. So, congrats on passing this test. The second round of the test of courage will begin shortly. Jabated indeed. Have you found your partner yet? Hard jabated. Oh yeah, where'd you go? Yes, your team's outstanding efforts certainly won you the last round. So it's understandable that you'd want to pair up with your previous partner. But unfortunately, you must find a different partner for each round of the event. Mmm, so I guess picking Ayaka wasn't that, uh... If you don't have a partner by the time the next round begins, then... Yeah, yeah, Paimon already knows! That definite. If you don't have a partner in time, then we'll be disqualified. <sighs> See if there's anyone looking for a partner. Hey, there she is. I saw two. I didn't see the last. Hey there. Congrats on winning the first round of the test of courage. Thanks. Yeah. Wait, were you also a contestant in the first round? I sure was. But I couldn't shake this constant feeling that someone was secretly following me the entire round. He didn't seem to be from the Yashiro Commission, and I was concerned that he might be out to stir up trouble at the event. So I tried to capture him. <laughs> what? I didn't expect him to run so fast. I gave chase for a while, but I couldn't keep up. And before I knew it, the round was over. Hmm. Is there a chance he wasn't there to cause trouble? Maybe he was just trying to scare people. Was it Edo? Coming all the way to the test of courage to scare people? Well, I guess the world is full of all kinds of weirdos. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be sure to show everyone my abilities in the second round. Oh, Paima remembers you once mentioned you liked Kaidon. Kaidon? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Make a once wish. If you really get into it, you might find me to be your toughest competitor. It's up the mental. <laughs> I'm only kidding, of course. I'm not here for the prizes, just to have fun. Hmm. My lord has granted me a rare vacation. So I'd rather spend my time relaxing than worrying about some contest. My lord. Speaking of which, have you found a partner yet? Would you like to pair up with me? Uh, you know, let, me let me think about it. Hold on. Let me I talk to everybody else first. I hope you can find the right partner and win the second round. <sighs> you. Uh, you found me. Hey, saw you. Are you here for the test of courage, too? No, she's probably just trying to get away from the Shrine Maiden. Yes? Uh oh. <sighs> she looks like she just woke up. Oh, no, wait. She's actually trying to fall asleep. The mean looks pissed. The test of courage is too scary, so I keep my eyes closed to not feel scared. But as soon as I close my eyes, it's really easy to fall asleep. During the first round, a big bull-headed beast leaped out of nowhere and scared me half to death. So I ran and hid behind a tree. Mm. I closed my eyes and tried to hide for a while, but it was really dark and I fell asleep. By the time I woke up, the round was already over. Oof. A big bull-headed beast? Oh, wait, that sounds like Ushi. Oh, I didn't even... I couldn't even think. Now, no one wants to partner up with me for the second round. Oh, no. Oh, poor Sayu. But if you do want to partner up, just let me know. Hmm. 
Toma Sayu. Toma's just being a Chad as he usually is. Sayu wants a partner, but she's here for her own reasons. What about this is Goldfish? Hey, traveler, Paimon. I had a feeling you two would be here. Partnering up with old, an old harbinger. Also here for the first round, but I arrived a little early, so maybe that's why I didn't see you. By the way, I heard you were the winners. Impressive. I eventually found the hidden dongo milk too, but it was already too late. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Actually, Paimon still doesn't know how he managed to find it. Paimon was just hiding behind her the whole time, and somehow we won! <laughs> Traveler, you ever told me you were so good at this sort of event? You were keeping it a secret, were you? Anyway, would you like to pair up with me? We'd be an amazing team. With us working together, the second round will be a piece of cake. Oh, dang. They, they always make it so hard to choose. There's always like that one person where it's like, eh, you know, it's fine if you don't. But if you do, I'm down. And there's like the other two people are like, please. Uh, oh, I understand. See. You have to put some thought into choosing the best partner. You did already win the first round, after all. It's but true. I'm definitely no pushover when it comes to the test of courage. I've been to loads of these events. Besides, choosing me, you'll <laughs> have one less tough competitor to deal with. <laughs> anyway, uh, give it some thought. Oh, no. Your mirror would just be like super excited. I want to pick Sayu actually. Will you pair up with me for the test of really? You're willing to be my partner? Great. But please keep an eye on me and don't let me fall asleep again. <laughs> it's pretty scary here, but I'm going to face my fears this time. Based. I would pick Toma, but it's hard to choose one. Yumiya might actually win against us if she gets too far. You appear to have found a partner. Let's see if you can repeat your luck from the first round. Though, whether winning should be considered good luck or not is debatable. <laughs> still, still have, uh, still have everybody from Yasho Commission so far. Or at least Chimatsuban or that whole field, I guess. I put Jenny for the yeah, my fun and excitement. Yeah, I knew she's gonna be fun. Hmm. Anyway, I will now reveal the item you'll be searching for in the second round of the test of courage. It's, it's a fan. A fan? You mean like the thing we use to keep cool when it's hot out? Uh oh, what's I looking that for? Correct. The fan was personally selected by the Yashiro commissioner himself. Something just fell from above. Oh, gosh. You who aren't. She's good. We should get out of here, too. Huh? She didn't actually do the... Do the move, though. I thought she was going to actually, like, go into, like, a spin move for a second there. Uh, surely straight isn't the way to go. It's so dark here. It's hard to make out anything. It's so dim that Paimon almost looks like a flying lavender. <laughs> hey, that hey, is a fly lavender. Like Paimon's over here. Paimon's in nowhere right now. Alright, so I kind of don't want to go the right way because then I'll miss the other options. I usually like to hide here and take a nap. Don't worry, there doesn't appear to be anything scary here. Ooh, thank goodness. Oh. We finally made it to a safe spot. God dang. Uh, saw you? Was that statue always facing this way? And why does Paimon have a feeling that it's staring right at us? What? Because it is. Be right. This is supposed to be a safe place. Uh, we have to hide Taylor out <laughs> here. You who aren't, let's go. 
hightail out of here. That's a drink. Good idea. Oh, can we actually? Anyone oh, no. here? Strange. There's nobody around. Uh, we got watermelons, apples, uh, fruit, right. some kind. We won. Yep, seems like it. Ha <laughs> ha, we won again. Let's go see. Captured uh, Scaramouche and some other weird figures. Wow, Ito, you really captured them. Seriously, why didn't you run when I told you? What are you saying? We couldn't abandon you. God, that face is, that is so, ugh. Yeah, that's right. So just get on with it. If you're gonna eat us, then you'll have to deal with all three of us. We won't back down, even if, uh, even if we're already in your stomach. Who said we were going to eat you? Wait, are you the ghost of something tasty? Well, Paimon did say that before. She said they were gonna, the ghost was gonna eat her. Uh, and Ito, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Hmm. I have a weird feeling that I've seen these three somewhere before. Oh, I wonder where. Oh, I know. These are all creatures from the ultimate yokai field guide that Granny used to show me. Oh, that's not what I. Okay. There's Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo. Kappa. Yokai. Kappa. It sure took you long enough to notice. Well, we recognized you right away. You're an Oni, aren't you? According to legends, Oni are grouchy, extremely strong, and crush other yokai into balls to eat them up. <laughs> into balls. Oh, pff, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Who came up with that? Besides, you're the ones people are scared of, hiding behind bushes and scaring people off the road. What are you Those max on. Don't think I didn't see you following her around and conjuring up all sorts of weird, scary stuff. So it was you three. No, we weren't trying to scare anyone. We were just trying to uh scare everyone. Um uh, It's the story of Yokai meeting a human during a festival hundreds of years ago. Hmm. Oh wait. It said that long ago, a human samurai once stumbled across the Mikawa Flower Festival. Huh? What's a human doing here? We erected the barrier, didn't we? Uh, what a pain. Oh, is that the one that the Raiden? Uh, teaser? The yokai at the festival began discussing no. how to drive away the human. Huh? When suddenly, they heard a voice. Oh. Oh. This is our festival, and the point is to have fun. What difference does it make if a human joins us yokai? <laughs> the speaker appeared to be a prominent figure among the yokai, and when he spoke, the other yokai fell silent. You there, young man, do you drink sake? Uh, yes, I do. Ah, then join us. We can enjoy tonight's festivities together. <laughs> and so, the yokai and samurai celebrated together. The two hmm. competed in the highlight of the festival, the Akitsu Hazara. Their spectacular game ended in a draw, and a new friendship was forged. <laughs> I can't believe a human could keep up with me. Witnessing the dynamic powers of the yokai will certainly help hone my swordsmanship. You're a swordsman? Oh, yes, I'm currently traveling the world in search of formidable opponents. Then let's make a deal. We meet for a duel every ten years. What do you say? Ten years? I look forward to it. The Mikawa huh. Flower Festival is meant to bring happiness to all who attend, and Akitsu Hazara is a symbol of friendship. That was nice. Huh. Huge, uh, oh, Gibby vibes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, I wonder if that uh that one girl in there she kind of looked like she was like a part of that uh riding demo. That's why when we decided to hold the festival here, setting up Akitsu Hazara was our first priority. They were all yokai. Unfortunately, the real Akitsu Hazara has been lost to time. What we created is a version of the game we heard about from a wandering merchant. So we changed the name to Akitsu Yugen. Oh, okay. We heard someone that had been trapped in Akitsu Yugen. Oh, yeah, but that wasn't us. We have no idea what could have gone wrong. We closed Akitsu Yugen a while ago and carefully checked it for any issues. But we didn't find anything wrong with it. Maybe it was just some strange mishap caused by our unstable yokai power at the time. Hmm. hmm. They don't look like they're lying. And believe me, I know a liar when I see one. Maybe it really was just an accident. Do you? After that incident, people stopped coming to the attraction. Later, a human man with blue hair appeared and walked around the area. He had a piercing gaze. I almost felt like he could see us. I do. But then he turned and quickly left without saying anything. Wait! You're the strange lady we met before! Oh, it's you Ooh. two again. This looks cool, though. I have to say, I'm impressed by your willingness to approach me after last time. You're much braver than I thought. But I'm not going to let you off the hook so easily this time. If you don't leave, I'll... Banner win? Yeah. That's what I'm waiting, up. That's what I'm waiting for. I'll... Hmm. Nice try, but you don't scare us anymore. We just met your fellow yokai and they told us everything. Uh-oh. Cat's out the bag. Huh? Fellow yokai? That's right. You're another little yokai who lives in the wilderness, aren't you? We just met Yoko, Kappa, and Hitotsume Kozo. Name drop. So which type of yokai are you, hmm? Oh, let's have a guess. Uh... Hmm... Actually, Paimon has no idea what you are. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're on our way to play Akitsu Yugen. Care to join us? Akitsu Yugen? Again. God, her voice. <laughs> How could this be happening now? All I needed was a little more time, and I could. Huh? What's the matter? Are you not feeling well? Oh, maybe you're hungry, or maybe you didn't sleep well. You look pretty exhausted. I concede, you win. Even if the rules have changed a little, I would never lose to amateurs like you. Amateurs. Oh, right. You're a yokai. You're the one who created Akitsu Yugen. She never actually answered that. No wonder you're so good. Anyway, we'll keep our word. You can make a wish now. But before you say anything, we won't do anything that's clearly impossible or harmful to others. A wish, huh? Then I wish on the banner that we never cross paths again. Oh, well, that'll be easy when you're not in this quest anymore. Wait, what? But didn't we just have a great time together? That's precisely why. Don't ever come near me or speak to me again. Doesn't want to have fun. Surely that's a wish you can fulfill, right? Surely. This is my final word of warning. If I ever see your faces again, I will... Ed, I'll steal your souls! What's, uh, what's your problem? Scared now? Good! Then don't come here again! And she's off. Uh... Lyman doesn't get it. Did we do something wrong? Maybe she's supposed to be left alone. Everyone has their reasons. Uh, fair enough. But Paimon had a lot of fun playing Akitsu Yugen with her. It would be great if we could see her again. Well, so much for that, NPC. Anyway, let's go see how Ito's doing. I'm Yuimiya, and I run Naganohara Fireworks. Oh, I once saw some Naganohara Fireworks. Even though I was watching from a distance, they were still so beautiful. 
bursting across the sky. Really? Then the next time we meet, I'll bring some fireworks for us to launch together. It'll be fun. <laughs> Boss, save us! Oh, God. Calm down. Everyone, j just calm down now. What's all the noise about? There he's back. He's O. Oh, you're the Tenryo Commission's. Hazel! There's nothing to fear. Even if there really is a ghost, all your noise would drive it away. <laughs> Ito, you and your gang should go and inform the other contestants about the situation. Traveler, Paimon, please come with me. And Ayaka, you and Mia, Sayu, Goro, and Doma? And the kid? Oh, okay. And they're all. <laughs> That's your commission. <laughs> Feels a little better now that Hazel's here. Oh, is that what he was like? Literally about to call him? Oh my gosh. That would have been funny. <laughs> that Kirsten Kitchen. Don't freak out, boys. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. You're, You're the, the best, boss. Yeah, let's see how long that adds up. Don't freak out, boys. You're oh, the best. They're all. Okay. Hey, look, it's lavender melon. Could the rumors be true then? Do strange phenomena really happen every time the test of courage is held? Oh, sh strange phenomena happens every day into that. Every day. Oh, Michelle. Yeah. Ding, so ding. is there really a ghost around here? I'm gonna go look for it. I've never seen a ghost before. How exciting! Oh my gosh, I mean, it's gonna be the first one dead in this horror, in a horror movie. Out there looking for the ghost. I believe my lord had foreseen this situation. He did know, didn't he? He has my absolute trust. But given Lady Ayaka is still here, we must get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. How did he say Ayaka? My lord Ayaka? has my absolute trust, but given Lady Ayaka is still here. Ayaka. Lord Kazu. Unease pervades the air, and fear is spreading. Maybe this is the real test of courage. It's already becoming an unforgettable experience for me. This is so cool when, like, you get to talk to main characters like you know don't get me wrong npcs are cool but you know do 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 sue you this is one of my usual hiding spots it's always safe here oh yeah so we first saw her not first cover your eyes and the scary things will go away but this is when y Yaimiko said we're going to meet the professional. She was right here. I'm missing Goro. Oh, there he is. There are six so far. Goro, Ayaka, Kazuha, Toma, Sayu, and then... Recite this to yourself. Yaimiya. Keep your mind clear and at peace. Free your thoughts from spirits and ghosts. Those were Her Excellency's remarks in the directive. She once said, there is nothing to be afraid of as long as your conscience is clear. Oh, if only Her Excellency were here. She would get to the bottom of all this in no time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can see that. I'd like your assistance with this investigation, since you two are the only ones who have seen the alleged ghost. Interesting. You would come find me here. Well, there she is. Seen her again. I thought you were a yokai like the others, but they said they never seen you before. So, who are you? And why did you try to scare us? <sighs> I have already warned you never to speak to me. 
Ooh. Oh my god, she's not scared at all. Oh, never mind. I thought Sue was like totally over it for a second there. Don't move. Just trust me. Your yokai power won't scare us. It will only hasten your demise. Yokai power? Huh? How did you know? That piece looks really cool though. Your yokai that emerged from an object and assumed a human form outside of your own body. Oh, is that what it is? It's kind of like a Simagomo or when How the set of yokai is close to its own body, it can use some yokai power, but that ability weakens as it moves further away. And if the original body is destroyed, then the yokai that originated from it will likewise perish. So what item is she? Should I refer to you as a Hogoita spirit or Tsukumogami? Oh, yeah. That's kind of actually close to that name, Tsukogami. Don't bother. You may call me Hanyuda Chizuru. That Chizuru. is the name I go by now. Chizuru? Why do you want us to leave? That should be like a name. Hmm. If you're a yokai, you should understand why the other yokai want to interact with humans. Besides, we had a great time playing a Kitsu Yugen together, didn't we? Just like the story of Kamai and the Samurai. Yep, that story. But they don't actually know the entire story. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Samurai was about 25 years old when they met at the festival. They met again 10 years later and remained friends. They spent time together drinking, traveling, and sparring. When they had first met, they merely respected each other. But ten years later, they became best friends. After another decade, the samurai had reached the pinnacle of his swordsmanship and won their duel by a narrow margin. Kamai was so astonished by his defeat, he gave up drinking and began training to become stronger for their next duel. However, another ten years later, Kamai did not meet the samurai. As it turned out, war had broken out in the south, and the samurai had gone to defend the border. Kamai was unconcerned, because ten years was nothing in a yokai's lifetime. Mm. But when they met once again, Kamai discovered that the samurai was already 65 years old. 65? He his eyes when he saw the samurai's gray hair and scars covering his body. Damn. Hey, friend. Can you still wield the sword? <sighs> I'm getting too old to fight. <sighs> this time, I've come to say goodbye. I see. Then, how about one last game of Akitsu Hazara? <sighs> All right. The samurai Damn. gave his best effort during the game, but had to quit halfway through because he was too weak. After putting down his agoita, Kamai remained silent for a long time before letting out a long sigh. <sighs> what a shame. What, really? Friendship started as something they looked forward to, and in just a few decades, it turned into regret. Oh, he, he just said like, "Oh, oh, that's too bad." Like that's kind of how we just ended that. Well, that was awful sad. I had such a strong start from the last time, but yeah, I saw that first cutscene. I didn't see this cutscene though. No. This one, the one I just played. I thought Genshin uploaded the one um, that I saw already. But good thing, I, good thing I didn't watch it. Dang, it's just like there's so many like landmarks of like gravestones here. Like Kazuo's friend Tomo, he has his little grave with a, with a vision next to it. And now I believe it's just implying that this sword is where the samurai died. People often say that those outside the situation can see things more clearly. And I learned a harsh truth after witnessing all of it. 
everything that people come to regret is inevitably set in motion from the beginning. We yokai are different from humans. We have longer lifespans and different natures, but we share the same world. We interact with one another. We are drawn to one another and will eventually part ways. That's the realest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> but yeah, what she said is true, though. That's just like, uh, kind of like Yaimiko. But with Yaimiko, fortunately for her, Raiden also kind of lived for a long time as well, or kind of put herself into a puppet, so she didn't actually get to lose her friend, unlike how uh, normal yokais would. When the dream ends, all that is left are sorrowful memories and lingering pain. Even a wise and seasoned yokai like Kamai felt sadness when it was time to say goodbye. Imagine what a pure and kind little yokai would feel. It didn't seem like it. It seemed like he was just like, dang, what a pity. I was hiding on this beach, waiting for the last of my days. Say what? The last of your days? But those three yokai came and set up the Akitsu Yugen here, which woke me from my slumber. Oh. I didn't want them to approach humans with unbridled optimism and enthusiasm just because they'd heard the legend of Kamai and the Samurai. That would simply be repeating the same mistake. Well, she could have maybe like explained that. She went about it like so oddly to scare people off. Is that why you pretended to be a ghost? To scare all the people away from here? Oh, so you must be the one who trapped that guy on the beach. That was a little bit harsh, don't you think? My power has become pretty weak now, and most of the time I just use some props I've collected to scare people. I can't show myself when there are a lot of people around. She also sounds like every, like, elderly person in the kitchen. But that jerk was greedy. He wanted to steal the decorations from Akitsu Yugen and sell them for a profit. Oh. That's why I used my yokai power. To teach him a lesson. Oh, here we go. Detective Hayes on the case. Your true form is this pair of Hagoita, isn't it? I actually, show it this time too. Hagoita? Oh wait, so that means she's the pair of Hagoita used by Kamai and the human samurai to play a Kitsu Hazura hundreds of years ago. Oh no way! Well, she is. She is that item. You gradually developed sentience after being influenced by great yokai power. You were the closest to witness their story. Even with the yokai power's blessing, the Hagoita have started to rot away after hundreds of years. You can't sustain yourself, so you were forced to rely on props to scare people. Hmm. Hmm. And if my theory is correct, this pair of Hagoita is also the item we need to find for the third round of the Test of Courage. Ah, shoot. Well, now we gotta purposely lose to save her life. She's a racket. <laughs> Excellent work. You figured it all out. Ooh, what? This is the second time in two patches that Miko just came out of nowhere. Congratulations, little ones. You've passed the third round of the test of courage. I was like so confused. I heard her voice and I was thinking it was coming out of a uh, Chizuru. Oh, wait. Oh, we did it. Okay, wait. Miko and the shrine maiden? Paimon thought you went missing. Just went back to her post. I apologize for causing you concern. It was actually Lady Yai's idea. <laughs> She's a good actor. <laughs> well, what did you think? Were you scared? <laughs> Someone was, fear not me. Is induced by uncertainty. The more chaotic the situation, the better. Having the event staff also mysteriously vanish only added to the uncertainty. 
I must say, I think this test of courage truly lived up to its name. Yeah, I'd say so. So you're the one responsible for all the scary stuff. Hitomi, go tell the others that the test of courage has ended and that we have a winner. Surprised we actually won. I thought we were going to have to, like, give it back to her. Give the uh, Hagomi. I followed Kitsune Saigu around the Mikawa Flower Festival one year and saw her play Akitsu Hazura. Oh, uh, huh. Oh, yeah, because she could. She was around. She could. She led through all that. That was when I saw you. You didn't have a human form at the time and possessed only the earliest traces of sentience. Dang, we could really just know everything, man. Jesus. I remember now. You were on Kitsune Saigu's shoulder. Yeah, in her little fox form. I went for a stroll on the beach some time ago and sensed a familiar yokai power. I swear, I, I uh, hot take, but like Yaimiko to me is like the real focus of of Inazuma. Like I feel like more so than Raiden is. She just she knows everything. She's been around to see everything. She has insight on everything. She has perfect memory. You could ask her anything besides our brother. You don't know about that, but. <laughs> Though your power was weak, I was still able to find you. You were sitting in a tree, gazing at the tourists below. She like calls Raiden childish. Like I feel like she's like even more mature than she is. I overheard you telling yourself that you must be patient and avoid contact with humans. Huh? When was that? I didn't notice you at all. You weren't supposed to. In the previous cutscene, they actually showed Kitsuno Saigu in the background. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so that's that was, right? That's the one from the Ryan demo, right? The, the Like, when Ryan had all her friends, and then they disappear after a while. But wait a minute. Why why would she... Oh, I guess they, they can lose their life, too. Hmm. With your powers being so diminished, it was only natural that you didn't notice me. Because I saw somebody like that had the, the white and red... Fox look, and I was like, is that the one from the demo? You must have been blaming yourself all this time. You knew Kamai and the samurai became friends as a result of Akitsu Hazura, a game connected to your existence. At the time, I couldn't take on a human form like this. I had only a hazy sense of the outer world. I wonder how, like, yokais are born. They just get, like, a conscience of an item? After they first met at the Mikawa Flower Festival, I felt proud to know that I had left a mark on their story. We yokai are not like humans. Humans have too short a lifespan, and the day will inevitably come when we must say goodbye. Well, that sucks. <laughs> However, the bond formed by friendship will not be broken, but rather carried on in a new form. There's no reason to be upset by this. Time flies by in an instant, and life passes by like a dream. So, you must be happy in the present. You should understand what I mean now. Basically, YOLO. Well, it's for the humans, but... She's just saying, enjoy yourself while you can. Hey, compadres! Oh, God. Ito, what are you doing here? <laughs> He told me, told me everything. And I also heard that you won the last round. I even know who the ghost lady is now. Anyway, I had a little discussion with the others, and, uh... Hey, you're that fox lady. Why are you here? I don't even know. Jesus. <laughs> Please just disregard my presence. Now, tell us what you discussed. Ah, right. <clears throat> All right, listen up. To celebrate the end of the Test of Courage event, we will be holding the Mikawa Flower Festival. I had to brush his hair just for that. I gave it some real thought and realized that it might be kind of difficult for those little yokai to hold the festival on their own. But with my help, it won't be a problem. He's going to slap his name on the front. That's right. Arataki, the one and only Ito, will be in charge of organizing the best Mikawa Flower Festival anyone's ever seen. Hooray for Ito! 
Oh boy. Oh. Uh, can we really trust this guy with a festival? <laughs> this guy. Hey, what you trying to say? Besides, it won't just be me. Other people will help too. Even my bro Ayato is going to be there. Oh. Everyone's busy getting ready and the festival will be up and running in no time. It won't be long until you can all join the fun. <laughs> You're the best, Ito. And he's gone. You are not invited. Hey, hey, it's Mia. Gojo or Kojo. What would a festival be without me? I'll be sure to go have a look too. God damn it. Ah, it has been some time since I've attended a festival. Fortunately, I brought sake with me. <laughs> nice. Paimon's gotta admit, Ito does have his moments. Mm. A festival, delicious food, count Paimon in! I said you're and Mia, and I, that triggered me to say Gojo. Do you want to join us, Chizuru? Uh, join us. Join us. All right, I'll join. If you don't mind, that is. Oh! I almost had it. Oh, I see. Oh, starting to get the hang of it, huh? Keep trying. Oh, Kappa is a. Uh... I think I need to take a break. Toma, Thomas. Oh, I sure bought a lot of stuff. I'll have to organize it all when I get back. Got some dango milk, got some... I don't know what that is. Oh, that's actually, that's actually like a... I forget my names. Oh, there's the other thing, too. Like California rolls, looks like. I want to become a great yokai, like the mighty Urakusai. Urakusai? Then I'll be able to help create a real Mikawa flower festival. Did you say my Ma Masanori earlier? Hmm. Man, I, I wish we got a little bit. I'm I'm glad we got insight on uh the uh, Kitsune that I was friends with Raiden, but um what was it? It was Saigu, yeah. I really wish we could see that character. All the characters who died, I wish I could like see again. So sad. Like the um uh Zhao's Friends, family. Oh, did I even forget? All the other, um, Yakshas, yeah. Ito and Goro! What are you two talking about? Are they, is, have, they, have they met for the first time here? Oh, I was just saying that if I had more time, I'd have built a massive fishing pond here. It's, it's Ito's support. Fishing? You know, when I lived on Watatsumi Island, I used to just dive into the sea and catch fish with my bare hands. <laughs> Take it from an expert, using your hands to catch fish is nowhere near as fun as using a fishing rod. Well, they ain't wrong there. Just the other day, I caught a fish so big that I didn't even know how to handle it. I even wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House about it. That's an unusual problem to have. Huh? A big fish? How come you didn't tell Big that? fish. Paimon could have helped you eat it. Was another Paimon? Huh? Y you wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House? Oh, you bet I did. I wrote to the That's Life column and asked Miss Hina for advice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. So amazing. Oh, no. She got back to me really quickly, too. Oh, God. Huh. What a coincidence. I do some part-time work there, and I recently received a similar letter. You mean the letter was about dealing with a giant fish they caught? No. Could it be? Uh-oh, look at Lamine's face. She knows. <laughs> Could it be that there's someone as good at fishing as I am? Oh, oh not on my watch. Hey, oh. go enjoy the festival. I'm gonna get out there and catch an even bigger fish. I was about to say, oh no, about this jeans are a bait. His dream's gonna be shattered. 
Just you wait. That was close. I'm inviting you all to my fish feast. <laughs> that was real close. Oh, the string snapped. I was so close. Yoimiya, this Miss is Hina. more difficult than it looks. Can you really fish out these water balloons with a string? Is that the game? Oh, gosh. Don't worry. Let me show you a little trick. Just remember that your hand has to be quick. Yo, yo, sorry. I haven't seen this game in some light novels before. That was lip synced well, but it was just delayed. Do you want to give it a shot? Close one eye, aim carefully, and fish it out quickly. Hmm. It's like, it's like the audio needs to be pushed a little bit forward. Oh, it looks kind of tricky. Paima will let the traveler try. You have to catch at least three water balloons since there's three of us. Uh, but Yoimiya, if I close one eye, I won't be able to see anything. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm done. I got no words after that one. I got no words after that one. <laughs> This man. Jesus Christ. Mm, oh. This ramen is so good. Oh, I forgot Sai was here too. Oh, eating ramen. This, this is so cute, this this whole event. It's like the acts like a slice of life kind of deal. Uh, yes. It feels like it's been ages since the last time I had some. Hmm? You mean you don't get to eat ramen very often, Ayaka? But it's so delicious! A lot of, like, Japan culture, which obviously makes sense. We're in Inazuma. Oh, it's you. We'll need two more bowls of ramen, please. Food like ramen and hot pot tend to have a lot of oil and hot salt. Hot pot. So I don't get to eat them very often. Oh, the freaking perfect diet. Oh. That's unfortunate. Yeah, now Paimon totally gets why Ayaka would put cake in the hot pot. Huh? Say what? Oh, uh, please, no need to bring that up again. She's talking about the crazy game Tomo was playing back then. Put cake in the hot pot. <laughs> Take a nap. While sitting down. By the way, were there any special stalls at yokai festivals in the past? <laughs> yes, but... Well, it's a long story. Uh oh Please, please don't end here. You remember the name, uh... Urokusai? Uh, that's the kid I mentioned a few minutes ago. Um... It sounds familiar, but... May have escaped me. Hyman can't believe you couldn't get a single water balloon. You've gotten rusty. Oh, got rusty. Chizuru managed to finally get one and gave it to Hitotsume Kozo. Oh boy. He looked like he really wanted it. But Paimon wanted one too. Want a balloon? There he is. Oh, so hot. Feels like I'm being roasted here. Why are you stay there? <laughs> Don't get too close. It's better to keep a few steps back. Don't get too close. I know. It's just so rare to see such a nice bonfire. I want to get as close as I can to enjoy it. He stole Tomo's line. There are many beautiful things in the world. There's no need to be anxious. The festival has only just begun. This is true. Love hearing their harassing voice say things like, I want him a balloon. For some reason, it's really funny to me. Yeah, I, I was like saying that earlier, like how she just kind of has the voice of like all the like elderly people you hear in Genshin. So I kind of like that same sort of voice. I was surprised. There he is. Didn't even tell your sister. It seems she was quite frightened, too. Red and blue. It would have been uninteresting or pink and blue. What was going to happen ahead of time. Besides, 
With her friends by her side, she wouldn't ever be too scared. Having a little fright is good to release any tension she might have accumulated lately. Seems like Aito is just a troll. It's like it's, everything so far has just been like the Iridori Festival and him like testing us and that whole ordeal and now this. Every time he's he's always the one behind it. Scary voice saying, "Yeah, mundane, mundane things." Yeah, Jesse and Jane. Yep, <laughs> Jesse and Jane. Everything went according to plan. People started to panic as soon as they sensed that they had no idea what was happening. Oh, how amusing! Mm, the joint effort. <laughs> yes, well done. Hey, you two, stop laughing! <laughs> That's scary. Hmm? Have you finished exploring the festival? Well, it's pretty small. Well then, are you having a good time? Yeah, it's great. The original Mikawa Flower Festival was much more lively, but even if you could attend the original, you probably wouldn't be as happy as you are now. Oh, I wish A could be here for this. Because it's always more fun to enjoy a festival with friends, isn't it? Is it just you? Did it use the shadow dot to use uh, cryo and electro? Use B plus one and a wall buff? Oh, you can sit down and spectate? Oh, oh, for the enemy head. Well, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Well then, I'm guessing you have something you want to say to her alone. We'll leave you in peace. Hmm. What did you want to say to us? Apologize. Ah, you saw through me again. I can't help but feel you somehow know everything. Because she does. It's not that I know everything. It's just that I've been in your position before. Don't mind those lay troubles back there, by the way. Traveler, do you have a moment? I'd like to talk to you. <laughs> alone on the beach. So I see what you mean now. Traveler, you wanna talk for a moment? Would you like to have a conversation? Oh, this is a nice little picture of everybody. Sort of kind of in the background. Do -do -do. See if we get everybody. There's Aito, Yai, Toma, Yoimiya, and... Yeah, there's Sayu in the back. Do -do. Uh, can barely see Sayu, but it's okay. Saying goodbye is also part of a festival. Dude, I'm loving this blue and pink combo. Um, yes, every celebration must come to an end. This is true. This is true. I want to become a great yokai, like the mighty Urakusai. Then I'll be able to uh, okay, the so. flower festival. Wait, she kind of like sent everybody into the sky, or like that celebration they had. Are you enjoying yourself? How about we go eat together? Oh yeah, I said it last time. Let's do it. Let's go. Where are we going? Weird. Where did all the fish go? Don't worry. Let's go try another spot. Where did all the fish go? There's no fishing spot here. What are you two on about? Uh, I sure bought a lot of stuff. I'll have to organize it all when I get back. Oh, the lines are the same. Okay. No! I almost had it! Oh, starting to get the hang of it, huh? Keep trying. Keep on trying. Fox, Tengu, and Oni's are... Okay, so any... Okay, that's good. So any sort of, like, animal. Oh. One bowl of ramen shouldn't hurt, right? <laughs> Yaka's actually a really, really funny character. Tries to be so formal, but then kind of caves in. So seat for me. All right, here will do. Thank you for agreeing to come with me. Don't mention actually, it. Actually, I was delighted when I first discovered that I could take on a human form. 
I was a yokai derived from a pair of Hagoita who came into being in the middle of a festival. So naturally, I enjoyed the lively festival atmosphere. Oh, wow. So he was right then and there, huh? I wanted to go to more festivals, become friends with humans, and play Akitsu Yugen with them. Yeah, same. The eyes, the outfit, the thing on the other eye. But every evening, as night began to set in, I recall the bitter smile of the old samurai as he set down the Hagoita, and the lonely Kamai sighing as he drank his sake. Mm -hmm. Then I would wonder, if I became friends with a human, would that person experience the same melancholy in the future? Look at that shot. Mm, so she's like kind of upset about their feelings towards each other, but I don't think so. She's going to have to get over like the fact that that's going to keep on happening, like Mika said to her. As a result, I was convinced that I couldn't do it. I told myself I would not repeat that same mistake. I understand what you mean. I'm sorry that I spoke so strangely when we first met. I'm sure it must have scared you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it did. I expected you to flee in terror. But when we met again, you acted like you had no trouble being around me. I knew you mistook me as one of the yokai. But instead of telling you the truth, I went and played Akitsu Yugen with you. Why? Hmm. I'm not completely sure myself. Perhaps it's because I've always wanted to be like Kamai and play Akitsu Yugen with humans. Oh, want like relive it? Or perhaps it was because I knew I didn't have much time left and I didn't want to be alone. Oh, so already is that a time? I mean, he did mention they were getting like rusty. Thank you for taking the time to play with me. And just like in Traveler fashion, we have nothing to say. When we played Akitsu Yugen, Paimon said the loser would have to grant the winner a wish. At the time, I wished for us to never cross paths again. However, you still came and found me. Meaning, you never granted my wish. So... Can I make another wish? Oh, as long as I can do it. Let me think. If it's speak, then we're out of luck. I wish for you to remember me. Uh, no. I only have one wish. So I better make it count. Okay. Listen carefully. Oh, no. My wish is... No. I wish oh. that every day of your journey ahead will be filled with joy like a festival dang I, I was just gonna say that's awesome by the way I was just gonna say uh, my wish is and then she's gonna disappear but at least she got to say what her wish was dang so just like that just gone hmm. I was better wake up Jesus again for the yeah they better honestly that was good she was already out of time, huh? So what about Miko? How was she up for so long? Oh, that was a wholesome ending. Is everybody still here? Oh, wow, they are. We got the balloon vendor thing. Kimo Demeshi Vacationist. Yeah, so is she going to go back to... Oh, the sh Shrine Maidens here. Oh, Anmo Boys meeting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kappa's still capping. Start with Sayu. Oh god, I'm going to shut my lightning. Tiny 
If only. If only. Every year when the fireworks go off, I say to myself, another year has already passed. As each year passes by, your life gradually approaches its end. Yikes. But I don't think that's a bad thing. Like I always say, fireworks are for now. She said the line. Forever. She said the line. That's actually very true in terms of the uh, yokai, at least the last part. Thought the fireworks might be forever and the friends are <laughs> for now. <laughs> it's the opposite. Oh, she lost her voice. I'll be here for the next Makawi Fire Festival. I wonder if they'll continue this again, hopefully. <sighs> After hearing Chizuru describe the original Mikawa Flower Festival, I wanted to arrange another chance to talk with her about it. Oof. I didn't expect that would be our last conversation. God dang. Well, I'll be. It got real sad, wouldn't it? Instead of thundering. To Yoshi. I tried to sing for a really long time, so that I basically scare people. I finally can take a break from that now. Huh. me about holding the test of courage event it dawned on me that this would be the perfect opportunity to help chizuru face her problem so i wonder how long she's been dealing with this kamai and the samurai's parting was one of the first things she experienced when she was partially sentient and didn't have her human form yet this was a very traumatic experience for her and she could never come to grips with it by reasoning alone the best option for her was to directly interact with humans. There's no need to feel sad. I believe she was content when she left us. Dang, so it's just gone, huh? Just like that. So, did you enjoy the test of courage? Eh. Once I learned of the yokai's intentions to hold a festival, I wanted to spread the word and attract people to their event. However, it occurred to me that doing so might be overly ambitious. If we marketed the Mikawa Flower Festival from the get-go, people would have arrived with insatiably high expectations. This will be the theme for Inazuma events going forward. It'll just always be some kind of, like, twisted puzzle. So I decided on using the test of Courage's notoriety to attract visitors, and left the rest to the yokai. Wow, that was all on purpose. Yeah, by lightning went during the cutscene. I'm surprised that hasn't happened, yeah, honestly. Very surprised. I had an inkling that their presence would spice up the event. <laughs> it sure did. It show sure did. Let's see what grow. Heartbreaking to learn of Chizuru's story. To be honest, I experience that same kind of sorrow when I'm on the battlefield. I don't know when I'll lose my comrades. So, I try to appreciate every moment. He's sad about this, but he wasn't sad about Tepe. Nobody wanted to help Tepe, and he was right there. <sighs> Lifespans, partings really gets you thinking, doesn't it? But, uh, I got nothing. All I know is I'll never regret meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> never. <laughs> oh, oh no. Tepe. Oh, it's just this water balloon. Nice. Um... Oh, Heiser. Will you have some time in the next few days, Kazuha? I'd like you to work on a case with me. Ooh. Oh, did you run into some trouble? Not exactly. It's just an old case with almost no tangible leads. But I believe your attuned sense of nature might allow us to discover some new clues. Sure. I can stay after the festival and we can go investigate together. 
Ooh, Great. Ooh, we'll see this. Thank you. My pleasure. It's no trouble at all. Can I come along? Can I see what happens? What's going on? Get these last ones. Tickets, so much Amora. That'll be gone in two seconds. Nice. I think that was all, yeah. Okay. Shutter dark. Now we go to the event shop. We get our crown. 14 crowns. I'll use a lot of those in the next couple upcoming characters. Which I thought we were going to get Shen He, but we didn't. Or we're not going to, I don't think. So. Rip it, Bozu. Like some branches, some purple branches. Oh, I need that for the uh, new sword. Masks. Transient, I think. Uh, I don't know who needs those, actually. I forget. I think it's a Raiden. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the Kokomian. Yuimia. It's Aito. Oh, here we go. Guide to light. Definitely need these. Oh, that's nice. Definitely need those. And this is this is 400,000 more. Oh, 